Hello guys, so today we are playing uh, a Harmony movement deck and you might ask me why Harmony movement deck? So first of all, I started making this deck when I was making my cycle, like spring cycle decks and I noticed that it actually looks pretty fun and I want to play it but in a little bit more better approach, like uh, on, with all of the cards. And first of all, it utilizes the Saskia commander for a lot of value in round one. So you can easily win round one. And when I was building this deck, I noticed that when you build like cards that usually wants you, you want to play with Saskia commander, uh, they kind of benefit nicely from movement because you want to play the Blatana Sentry, Dryad Patron or Cat Witcher that all have uh, movement synergy. And together with this, I added Milva. I added Trendbor and Malena who are recently buffed and uh, are fitting a little bit of this deck. Maybe Malena is a little bit of a win more card. I still think, think it is. Uh, but Trendbor actually is a uni unique tag that I don't use uh, apart from Weeping Willow. And then you have some cards like Brechen that uh, likes to for you to have movement and uh, Milva that likes uh, moving, moving a lot. And of course, the regular, the, the another Milva Sharpshooter is also here. However, I don't have that many ways to damage my opponent, so you need to be very careful with uh, Milva Sharpshooter. But still, you have leader ability, you have um, rock barrages, and you can still get some value with Malena, because then you just need a two-point uh, card to shuffle Milva back to your deck. Uh, the only problem with this deck is that I see is that it kind of has a long rounds if you have everything working for you and they have uh, round one but I think it might struggle in round three or might be easily bled but we will see on the ladder uh, if you also want to be extra juicy you can use cards like Pafko because uh, Pafko first have harmony and second it has uh, it's a, it's a role dependent uh, which which you might like if someone wants to move it you have so many tools to move it back to your range row that it shouldn't be a problem ah maybe we can actually try like i think brechen is better because this deck like toll removal and brechen kind of lets you do it uh, but pafko is just fun fun card so you you can decide i think pafko is better if you have greedy cards plus it helps you with milva while Brechen is good if you uh, encounter some big cards because I don't have any removal for big cards. But let's go with uh, Pafko just because it's fun. But in my opinion, Brechen is better. I'm just saying it here. So you, so don't quote me on that, but I didn't warn you, guys. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Let's see on the other. I haven't tested if I have 10 categories, but I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, hopefully I have. So let's go to the ladder. <laughs> I'm also have I also have two more decks for you guys today that I'm gonna record and uh, will play and will be available on Wednesday and on Friday and I'm telling you right now we are doing more uh, of the the generate Friday because it was fun playing clog okay so let's go oh I have a wrong skin I'm sorry but I always have to play Dana because Dana is doing this. Huh? 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 huh. And I just love it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Up with that job. Okay. Double cross. Oof. I actually don't don't have to move it. I, I prefer to keep it because I have only one construct, so anyway I can only kill one. What you want from your deck is you want to hard find Sasuke Commander. You really want this card in round one and you want to start with this and you want to play it in the range row. That's also very important. And if it's possible, you want to... Now I want to play Dryad Matron, so I have the same tag for the category, the same category on the ladder. 
So now if they play six power cards, I can play Rock Barrage, which is pretty cool. With this we can deal later. I think I will just start with this so I can the pain train. Mirva is pretty good here because I would get two points per turn at least. But I don't want to do it because it would be too much of a... Uh, like I would spend way too much points. So we can do this this time. Because if I move it, I would deal four. Oh, I actually missing um, one point. But with Gorilla Tactic, I can kill it and shuffle Milva back to my deck. And that's probably what I want to do. We do this. I don't want to boost this because they are already big enough. I am thinking about just passing now. Although I kind of don't want to pass at uh, 7. I would prefer to pass at 4. Uh, 6. The problem is my opponent will pass. But I have... And I kind of don't want to use Rock Barrage to be honest. To be honest, I don't want to use any of those cards that I have. <laughs> Depend on what... If they play high tempo, I will play one more card, but if they play low tempo... Low tempo... I really want to pass because I'm getting still two points per turn. Hmm, I really don't want to play any of my cards. But 18, 20. If I play one more card, they will pass. What if I just pass now? Oh, they can do it easily. I think I will just do this. And now we always pass. Now we are out. They are playing, which is interesting. I expected them to pass now. They are actually playing a Kai... Oh, that's a very slow card. Maybe not very. I think we pass. Because we also get one more card from Sasuke now. So not only I get two points per turn, I get also something from Saskia. And from Saskia I can get Dolblatana Sentry, which would make me four points per turn. I can get Dwarf Berserker. Well, that's two. This is either this or this. It's 50-50. Which means that we go to a long round three, I think. This is worth like 20 points. Oh. This is not enough. They still need. Oh my god, Vig effort. Come on. If this was drop on the range row, I would actually get how many? Two more points. So it didn't matter. I got two more points. I was free out. So they actually, I was one off to from having bad type Mr. Opponent. Hmm. 
Ooh, this hand is actually pretty decent. But I'm looking for all Neuromancy if I could do. Because I need Korati Heatwave for my for their scenario. I don't think they will bleed. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They actually can bleed me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, they can. We are going for a long round three. I have actually a pretty decent long round three. I'm just playing the worst card. Mm, and I want to draw. Well, I have almost guarantee getting. Well, I have guarantee. I want to draw Milva because I want to mulligan it away. <laughs> draw only one card. See? That's good, actually. No. That's good. So we always get Dread Ranger because I want to have. Uh, Mm, poison and cool thing is that poison is the on deploy then I can move it and boost We can start with Milva because it's immune and it makes my opponent turn offward Why well, I have reach of a lot of points on well, six you do the Emperor proud. I did not expect that Oh, maybe I should have... Oh, maybe I should have just killed it. Oh, I think I should have killed it. Oh, I can just... No, this is going high. This is actually good to not kill it. Because I can poison it. Oh, that's fine. Well, that's... That's not very good. I would say. But it actually blocks my... That was actually minus two points for me. Because now I have uh, human. And my Pafko is not gonna work. I don't know if my opponent realized it. But it actually... It actually blocks a little bit for me. It actually... Is blocking some of my points. The problem is that with this play... No, I prefer to play this first. I don't mind this growing. This will be poisoned. I kind of have to poi Karate hit way fast. Because I don't want them to get it from double cross. I also want to only Romancy for fast. So I think I'm gonna only Romancy next turn. And this, the, this card actually is a lot of points because it blocks my Pafko as well. We're just gonna... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna poison this. Can move this. Oh, I actually did one to it. Oh no, I did two? Damage if you control only non-neutral units. If you control only non-neutral units. Oh, okay, this is... Okay. I thought it's uh, only Skoyatel, but they changed it. Because this is a Nilfgaardian kind cards. I think it, I thought this would block my damage too, actually. But it's not neutral. It's a non-neutral card. Card. I think I should quest them. I don't want them to find like purify. That they actually found purify. Uh, so I just play this to have like engine already working. So I want Stiga Castle as well. Fast. Oh, I fuck. I need to Karate Heat Wave. I should Karate Heat Wave now. I should have Karate Heat Wave now. Because now I have 5 cards and they have uh, Rune Mage. Okay, good. They did a misplay. I mean, they didn't know. Remove this. 
Then we do this. This and we move. Julia. Okay. Uh, I should also play Stiga Castle. Stiga Castle is actually quite good for them from double cross, but I cannot like block everything. Like Siaran is also good for them. Rock Barrage is also good for them. Like I have to I will Stiga Castle next turn because this is like two two triggers of assimilate, but they also only have one like one card assimilate, so They moved my card. I have to do this so. And I put it on the range row so because they can just malena this and block the points. Now we have nice Muva combo. They waited for three cards, which is a little bit awkward. They can. Sadly, use Siaran, and I cannot do anything about it. But they can also rock barrage. Oh, the Siaran is just better. Aha! Ilva! <laughs> Ilva is rocking harder. Okay, now I don't have to stress. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. Ow. So the fun thing is, I can move uh, Pafko back to the. Range row, which means that I can kill this. And we can kill Malena. This! And now I don't have to kill anything with uh, the next movement. So we, because we don't want to shuffle Silva again. They actually could have killed something big with uh, so many Duchess informant. That was a beast play by my opponent. They could have poisoned something from me. Like I don't now I don't want to shuffle anything. I'm actually not gonna like kill it. And we still have uh, Weeping Willow for a melee row. Oh shit, but I this is on order. Oops, so I did a little bit of mess up. Uh, but I blocked some points. Oh my god, but I actually lost a lot of points. That's a little bit of an oopsie. Yeah, I know. A little more points for me. So they ha do they have 30 points? I don't think so. Hey, so this is actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed this deck. It was pretty fun to play. There are a lot of things that you have to think about, though, and I think I could have played it way better, but it's actually quite fun to play. Okay, maybe we'll play one more game, but I have to cut it here, because I need to call. So be right back, I mean, you won't see it.
Okay, and I'm back, and can we win another game with this deck? Because it's actually a fun deck. But I play way too many things. I sometimes play to around way too many things, and sometimes people don't even know what I'm doing and think that I'm misplaying hard, and I'm like thinking about so many possibilities that, well, I have to play around, that I actually play around too many things. <laughs> you know, the, the, the classic. Oh yes, Onairomancy is great. Mm. Oh my god, this hand. Hand actually might be too good, but we'll take this. We start with Saskia. Ugh, this is the worst one we can get at the, as the first one. What you want to have as the first one is Dolblatana Sentry. This is the best one. Or Anterion. Both are, both are, both are pretty cool. Uh, now this we can move, but I also can wait one turn. Because next turn, if it goes to 6, we we'll actually go to 6. Because... This will ping it. Well, then it's awkward as well. Because I can kill it. But I don't want to kill it. I want to leave it at 1. Okay, I will just uh, take it slow. Then will me. Because if I play it on the dwarf, then I don't block my Saskia, which is... Uh, which is cool. Or if I play Frenzy Dao, I just kill it. And killing it... It's not horrible, but this means that my... Poor Lady Milva... Staying on the board. And also... That's it. That's it, that's all I wanted to say. At least this way, I block their might, which is pretty good. You can add a machine to this deck, but to be honest now, when you get machine from Saskia and it's just to power, it's a little bit... A little bit too bad. Mm. Put it on Dwarf. Now, what do we do? I think we are gonna wait for a 5 point card. I think I will just play this. Okay, I have one more ping. A good hit. Uh, it's whatever hit, I guess. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's we we are good now. Because now I can play rock. I can shuffle my meal ba back to the deck. So next turn, I'm gonna get either Anteron or Dorblana Blatana Sentry. It's like, please, they are not getting... I can just pass. It's a little bit risky, the pass, because they can just easily... Yeah, we're just, just gonna pass and see what happens. Oh, I forgot about this boy. Because now they can get uh, might easy. And they can go for a carryover. Yeah, and... but I didn't have Karate Heatwave, so I thought, like, it's whatever. And now I will have carry over uh, for that heat wave. So get they get 23 points carry over, but I think it's not the big of a deal. I think it is better when you play it on the second round. And I also got poison now, which is good. 
If they pass, I just call out the heat wave. Don't need this. If they just... Oh, I still need to do it in two cards. Oh my god, this is actually... I'm actually gonna lose one card before, because of it. But it's not a big deal, to be honest. I think it's not a big deal that I do it in two cards and I go card down. People overvalue going for a... I have better engines than, than they have. And now I also keep the Korat Heat Wave. I think it's really not that big of a deal. I know it sounds weird. Okay, that's good. That's kind of me. Uh, oh. We can start with Pakko. Because Milva, I, I like, I don't have anything that will move yet. Hmm. Okay, that's a good quality hit wave card target. Do I need to go greedy? And it's a shame that I didn't get Percival. Oh shit, I lost one point, but it's fine. Fine. Now we need to play Milva. That's a little bit sad. Yeah, this is a win more card. I really hate that card. I really hate Malena. I really think this card is win more card. See, that now it's gonna be like one movement and that's it. Oh, I cannot... That's awkward, but I can just uh, work with it. I can, I can do it. Okay, we just skip it. Oh, we can lock this if they... Well, they can cut up as this. Oh, we're gonna move this. I don't think I can get enough points. I will get some, but I don't think it will be enough. to move my cards I am getting quite a lot of points we want this to be in the range row so there is a higher chance for more points
30 points. I actually, this round, uh, last turn actually got me way more points than I expected. And I actually gonna get a little bit more points. Okay, I'm not getting a little bit more points. Oh my god, we actually won that. We were to card down and we are still 16 points ahead. Oh my god, this card, this deck is actually fun. Oh my god, I'm actually having so much fun with this deck. You have so many micro decisions, that's actually amazing. I love this deck. I would, I can play this deck all day, but that's it for today because I have to play other decks. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.